Good morning. It's a very sunny Saturday here in the UK. Um, and I thought I'd try something different, hence this. Uh, I have been thinking of a way to show my process while uh, making a Lego model. And I thought that instead of just getting on and uh, designing it in front of the computer and just taking you through that, I thought I'd go out and look for something real to model. That said, I am starting with the basics again. I am going to do a steam engine. I'm going to go to the Bluebell Railway to look for that. Best way to visit a railway? You go by train. Plus I can't drive, so... So I'm on my way to East Grinstead now, where you can change for the Bluebell. Now, since I got the Hogwarts Express set, I now have three sets of large driving wheels, which means I can make more Express engines, or larger engines. So what I quite like is something that is maybe medium size, like a tender engine, but not too big. But that's why I'm going to the Bluebell. They have a large collection of larger engines. So hopefully, I can find something interesting. So I'm at East Grinstead. It's clouded over now, which is fine because it means I'm not overexposed and squinting at the camera. I've got to say, vlogging is weird. Um, I think you've got to be totally devoid of any sort of self-consciousness to do it well, <laughs> which I am not. But I suppose you just you just got to go for it, really. So, found a compartment, gorgeous train, it's an old Victorian one, uh, there is a South Eastern and Chatham railway locomotive on the front, I don't know the exact class, I'm not quite, I'm not quite there yet. Gorgeous engine, but I'm not sure if it's quite right because it's got smaller driving wheels or I would have to use smaller driving wheels for something of that scale. It's just run round. I think we're off in a second. What I'm going to do is go down to Horsted Canes. That's where they're currently keeping a lot of their locomotives. Uh, I'll have a look around there and then I'll head down to Sheffield Park where it's the end of the line and I think they've got some engines there still even though their shed is currently closed because they're refurbishing it. I'm at Horsted Keynes, great big rain cloud there, that'll be interesting. Um, just over on that platform opposite is uh, a few engines that I'm going to have a look at, and then I'll find a place to charge my camera, because that is uh, running dangerously low already. So I've had to look up what this one is. It's a U-Class, about the right shape. It's got three large driving wheels. I have already designed uh, what's called a King Arthur, but this, this is good. This might be a good idea. So this is a bullied Pacific 
Um, that one I do know. I think it's a West Country, but I might be wrong. Bullied was one of my favourite designers. He was a character in a feature film that I wrote for my dissertation. It's a bit big, it would cost quite a bit of money to order the pieces in, but it's definitely one I'm going to have to make at some point. There's quite a lot at this station, including a cinema room. Now I was just in there and they were playing a film about a brand new engine that they were building at uh, Sheffield Park. It might be worth a look, I doubt you'll be able to see it, I think the sheds are closed anyway. Uh, the works will probably be doubly so, but if I find out what it looks like, it might be a shout. British Rail. Nice looking engine. Not Southern Railway though. Can I come up? Yes, please. Come on up. Oh, thank you. I made no, I don't want to stop. I made that to put up the injection. That's alright, not a noise. Now what I like about Camelot is that it's in black, which means that it's a lot easier to build that Lego because I've got much more. <laughs> yeah, the train's just appeared. Thank you very much, cheers. Don't drop it, will I won't drop it, no. <laughs> So this is the shed, it's currently closed because they're renovating it, this is where they normally keep the engines. It's a shame but you can see a few in there, including Stepney. Tucked behind the footbridge, it's another BR standard. It's a tank engine this one. This one's not a bad shout actually, it's got three sets of driving wheels, perfect. It's a small build, I won't need to motorise it. I'll add it to the list. So I'm really liking Camelot. I think it's a very strong contender for the engine I'm going to build. I just realised I haven't done a Southern Railway one, but I also haven't done a British Railways engine. The only drawback maybe, uh, it's, uh, it looks a lot like a Black 5, which I've already got, but it's up there, definitely. Let's go and uh, see if we can get some information on that Atlantic. So more or less as expected, you can't see inside yet. You will be able to, I think, when the, uh, when the shed reopens, but there's a good view through the window and through this fence. So I found somewhere to charge my camera. Thankfully, the pub is not too busy. 
Um, I was chatting to the man in the bookshop and he pointed me to a couple of books on the Brighton Atlantics. I had a look through. They were definitely used by the Southern Railway. Uh, they've come in Southern Railway colours. They also had some information on the Beachy Head project. Interestingly, the reason it's called Beachy Head is that it was an existing engine and there are still some existing parts that they're using for this version, so it's not entirely a new rebuild like Tornado. Um, in terms of whether or not I will build it, I think it's a very good contender. I'm still considering Camelot, um, but the more I think about it, I have already got three engines, four engines, yeah, about four engines that have the um, 460 wheel arrangement, which, I don't know, I would quite like to do something different, and an Atlantic would be quite different. Um, again, I don't think I'd motorise it, the tender's very small, um, plus I don't actually have the full motor set uh, like I do for the others. So, that's where I'm at at the moment. It's a very interesting book. I will put a link to it in the description as well as a link to the official site for the Beachy Head project. In the meantime, I'm going to let my camera charge and have a pint. was brilliant. Thank you Bluebell Railway. So, made it home now, giving it a bit of thought, I have made my decision on the engine. Um, it came down to two, it was either the Southern U class or the LBSCR Atlantic. Having looked at the two designs, I decided that it would be too tricky to do the Southern U class's smoke deflectors in the scale that I'm working on. So, that leaves the LBSCR Atlantic and uh, I think it'll be quite interesting actually and it'll be a nice new build project that I can display alongside the P2. So I figured I'd show you where and how I store my Lego. Basically under my desk I have some drawers, drawers here there's some on the top as well. They're just all sorted by colour and sometimes in the case of larger quantities like uh, dark bluish grey they're split into sort of brick types and tile types. Other than that, it's pretty easy, still requires a bit of rummaging but you find your piece pretty quickly. So at the end of day one, uh, I've made quite a bit of progress. I've basically finished the wheelbase. So as you can see, very simple, very flexible, and moves quite well. Um, there is no motor in the tender, of course. I am not going to put myself through that amount of stress. Uh, also, the tender is so small on these engines that it's not worth it. Other than that, I'm quite happy so far. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 